Hi, this is Todd with The Land of Math. In this video, we're going to look at how you can find the surface area of a prism. And we're going to look at four basic prisms. We're going to look at a rectangular prism, two different triangular prisms, and then one trapezoidal prism. In addition to all that, we're also going to look at a couple ways that maybe you can kind of shortcut, some shortcut ways to make it a little faster and easier when you're finding surface area. So all that's coming up next on The Land of Math. All right, so let's start finding some surface area of some different prisms. And we're gonna start off with the rectangular prism, probably the easiest one to do. So the first thing I like to do is just kinda of like cut along the edges. And when we do that, it's gonna create the net. And so we can see our three-dimensional object kinda of laid out, so you can see all the different sides. And what we're gonna do, there's six different sides here. We're gonna find the area of each of these. Each of these sides happens to be a rectangle, so it's gonna be real easy to calculate the area of each rectangle. So if we go 12 times 10, it'd be 120 centimeters squared. The next one's a little smaller, four by 10 is 40 centimeters squared. And then we're gonna see like a repeat. This is the same as the first one. So it's 120 centimeters. And the next one is the same as our second one that we did. Four times 10 is gonna be 40 centimeters squared. That would be all the area right there of our lateral faces or the blue um, rectangles. Now we have our two bases. They're each 12 by four. So if we take 12 by four, that's gonna give us 48 and it'll be centimeters squared. Well, the other one's gonna be the exact same. It's also 12 by four, so it's 48 centimeters squared. And at this point, we have the area of each of the sides. We just add them up. And when we do that, we're gonna end up with 416 centimeters squared. This is the surface area. It's the area of all those parts on the outside of our box. Now there's other ways like little shortcuts of doing this. So for example, if you looked at the original item, if we just counted the distance that goes around um, the base. So if we go 12 plus four plus 12 plus four, that's gonna give us 32. And so if you just went 32 times 10, that would be 310 centimeters squared. Since we know that the 12 times four was the area of the base, we could just double that and give us 96. And now we just add those two up and we end up with 416 centimeters squared. So you can get it both ways. The second way is actually kind of a little bit quicker. All right, so here's a right triangular prism. So just kind of like the first time, we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna get our net and kind of lay it out. So you can see all of our different dimensions. We have three rectangles, two triangles. So if we just go through here and find the area of each of the sides, and then we'll just kind of add them up. So the first one is six by 10, and we know six times 10 is 60, so that's 60 centimeters squared. The next one is eight by 10, so that's gonna be 80 centimeters squared. And then that's it, leaves us with the last one, which is 10 by 10, so it's actually a square, and that's gonna end up equaling 100 centimeters squared. So again, that's the area of all the different sides that we consider our lateral faces. So now we need to find the area of the triangle. So the formula for area of a triangle is one half times base, which in this case is six, times the height of the triangle, which is eight. And when we do that, we end up with 24 centimeters squared. The other one is the exact same. And now all we have to do, because we found the area of all five sides, we're just gonna add them up. And when we do, we get 288, and that's gonna be centimeters squared. Just like the last one. So this is gonna be our surface area. But just like the last one, there's actually like a little shorter way or a, another option to do this. So what we can do is when we're looking at this, if we just add up the distance around the bases, which is six plus eight plus 10, that's gonna equal 24. And we can just go 24 times the height or 10, and that's gonna give us 240. So that's the area of all the lateral faces. And now we know that when we did one half times six times eight, we got 24. Well, what we can do is just double that amount. So just take 24 times two, and that's gonna give us 48. So the two bases equal 48 centimeters squared. When we add those two up, we get 288 centimeters squared, just like above. So next we're gonna find the surface area of an equilateral triangular prism. So that means all three sides of the triangle are the same. So just like before, we can cut this open, find the net, and we can use that to help us out. So you see there's five sides, just like the other triangular prism, and we're gonna find the area of all these. Well, this one's kind of easy because each of the lateral faces are gonna be six times 10, 
and it's going to equal 60 centimeters squared each time. Now we have our triangle, and we know the, to find area of a triangle is one half times the base, which is six, times the height, which in this case it's 5.2. When we multiply that all together, we end up with 15.6 centimeters squared. The next triangle is going to be the exact same. Now I'll put the numbers down, but it's going to equal 15.6. If we just add up all those five sides, that's going to give us our surface area of 211.2 centimeters squared. But just like before, there's actually other options here or other ways of doing this. And sometimes these are actually a little quicker or easier. So when we're looking at this, we can actually add up the three sides that, that make up the distance around our base. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. If we take the 18 times 10, that's 180 uh, centimeters squared. We then can take the area of the triangle, and we can actually just take that times 2. So we're just going to double it. Now, if we actually solve this, we get 15.6 times 2. We multiply that together, and we get 31.2 um, centimeters squared. We add those up, and we get 211.2 centimeters squared, just like above. So next, we're going to look at the trapezoidal prism. So just like before, we're going to cut this open so we can see the net and see what the different shapes are. You can see that we have four rectangles here and two trapezoids. So we're going to find the area of these six sides. So for the rectangles, we have 5 by 10, which that's going to be 50 centimeters squared. We have a 6 um, by 10, so that's 60 centimeters squared. That'd be like sort of the top of our triangle or trapezoid. We have a 5 times 10, which is the same as the first one. That's 50 centimeters squared. And then finally, we have a 12 times 10. And so that's going to end up equaling 120 centimeters squared. So those represent our lateral faces. Now we're going to find the area of the trapezoid. Now to find the area of a trapezoid, it's one half times, and then in parentheses, our two bases. In this case, it's the 6 and the 12. They're the sides that are parallel. And we take it times the height of the trapezoid, which is 4. So the area of the trapezoid is 36 centimeters squared. To get the area of the other trapezoid, it's going to be the exact same because the bases are going to be the same. So you get 36 squared there as well. We add up all six of these sides. We end up with 352 centimeters squared, and that's our surface area. Just like the others, there's a, a different way you could do this, kind of a little shortcut. Um, so if we look at this again, if we look at the blue section, if we just count the distance around, so 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 12, that's going to equal 28. And so we could take 28 times 10, and that's going to be 280 centimeters squared. So that's going to be a little quicker than what we did above. On the trapezoid, once we did that whole formula of 1 half times, in parentheses, 6 plus 12, close to parentheses, times 4, we get 36. Instead of just setting all that stuff up, we can just go times 2. So we just double it. And that gives us 72. And that would be centimeters squared. And that would be the area of the two um, trapezoids. So to get our surface area, we're just going to add up those two numbers, which would give us 252 centimeters squared. And so that's going to be the same. So we're getting a surface area that's the exact same both times, 352. Well, hopefully this was helpful. We'd love it if you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and visit us at thelandofmath.com. So until next time, we'll see you on the Land of Math.